welcome to another episode of Ambassador 5, a series where we showcase cultural ambassadors who are actively promoting Caribbean culture throughout the world. My name is Marissa, founder of To Be Caribbean, and today I am so, so, so excited. We have a special guest who is all about promoting Caribbean culture, and they're doing it in such an innovative, pioneering way. It's really exciting. It's right up To Be Caribbean's alley about building brands for Caribbean creatives. Please help me to welcome Mrs. Danielle Lee Zedi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, Marissa. Thank you, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. Thank you, thank you. So of course, I have to let people know our point of connection is Carnival because you have soca royalty running through your blood. Tell us about that. My father was Byron Lee. And um, so from I was born, my entire childhood, growing up throughout my life, I have been, you know, surrounded by soca and Carnival. As you know, we brought Carnival to Jamaica, the you know, greatest homage to Trinidad. Right. And um, I worked for several years with the Carnival. I was also privileged to have been able to work with uh, Stephen Derrick from Demidas and Associates. Right. And uh, he was he basically became my mentor. And I spent several years traveling with him around to the different carnivals around the world. And, um, you know, learning about carnival from that aspect. You know, I had right. the music with my dad and then I had the costuming with Steven. And um, two great men, two great men that unfortunately passed before their time. You know, dad passed in 2008 and Steven in 2016. They're greatly missed, but they made their mark on me as well as on the world. Indeed, indeed, that's for sure. And what I love about that is, you know, it speaks to the pioneering blood that you have running through your veins. Um, it speaks to that whole cross-pollination of the Caribbean, because, you know, sometimes we try to work in silos on our different islands, but our mm -hmm. strength is really coming together as Caribbean people. And I think that is extremely important with this project that mm -hmm. you're going to tell us about, because that's the, that's the apex of making it happen, mm -hmm. you know? So I exactly. guess let's jump right into it. And please tell us a little bit about this Caribbean Film Festival that you're a part of. Well, um, Real Vibes Entertainment is a subsidiary of Blue Moho Capital Partners, um, a, a private equity investment firm based here in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, and they decided Real, Real Vibes is now um, bringing this inaugural film festival this year. It's a three day festival. It takes place August 25th to 27th. It's going to be featuring sports and entertainment and showcasing the dynamism of um, the Caribbean's greatest storytellers. Mm -hmm. It will be broadcast uh, virtually, but uh, from a physical location here in Miami called the Purple Palm Creative in Wynwood. Mm -hmm. uh, the festival will kick off with a um, pre-event reception on the 24th. And then it will span, as I said, three days filled with a lot of exciting activities. There will be a ceremony. There'll be screening, of course, of the films. Mm -hmm. There'll also be, and this is, I'm really excited about this, there'll be um, several workshops that will cover a wide range of topics such as, you know, they'll, they'll get valuable information about funding and casting and even, you know, technical tips. And um, so that's that, that aspect I'm very excited to, um, to see. Now, the submissions must be in the categories of documentary, feature, narration, musical, and animation. Nice. Um, I, I am excited about that as well. The The films, um, they're supposed to be between 7 to 11 minutes. And I do believe that the animation, though, is allowed to come in at 5 minutes content must be about sports and entertainment mm -hmm. but at the same time like through entertainment they could also you know include things like food uh music art publishing um that you know it's it is a wide right. genre the mm -hmm. deadline for the submissions is july 31st okay so um and and they can be submitted through film freeway as well as through the real vibes website and that is realvibes.com that's r-e-a-l-v-i-b-e-z dot Okay. Um, and the website will cover all of the deadlines and the guidelines that they need in order to put their submissions together. We are mm -hmm. very happy to announce our ambassador for inaugural festival this year is Nikki Mohan. Ooh, right? So she, nice. you know Nikki, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. And we all know her for her, you know, fantastic work as anchor of ABC's affiliate here in Miami mm -hmm. for over a decade. Nice. So we are very yes. excited about that and having her join us. What? You really have some powerhouses behind this. I love it. And I, I mean, 
is, is such a great initiative, right? Because the Caribbean is filled with storytellers, yet still that industry is so underrated and underfunded. So this is so necessary. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So on that note, tell us a little bit about what was the inspiration behind even starting this mm-hmm. film festival? Well, you know, it's actually the inspiration is kind of um, multifaceted. It, it, so first of all, you actually touched on one of them, which is the fact that there is an overall lack of Caribbean influence or even presence in the space. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, the Caribbean has been known for its destinations for, for films. Mm-hmm. We are uh, we've had a number of films filmed uh, in, in the Caribbean throughout the years. I mean, starting with, of course, you know, I'm biased, but Dr. No, 1962 <laughs> in Jamaica. No bias, no bias. Shout out, no bias. <laughs> Well, of course. Well, the dragon was in that, so yes, it's one of my favorites. Um, all the way up to the 2000s with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, which you know, you know, they were filmed. They filmed in Saint Lucia, um, the Bahamas, Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. So we have been. The region has been known for its destination uh, location. What we are lacking in is um, having the, you know, being. Um, in the space the as as a production destination and that is what real vibes entertainment um alongside with blue maho capital that's what we're trying to facilitate is to um make that transition from just being a destination region to a production region and where these films can be truly products of the caribbean so it's not just the destination but the content the actors the you know the, the production the technical behind it all of it will be you know in front of the camera and behind the camera is going to, you know would be 100% caribbean right. so we're very excited about that um another inspiration was also the fact that you know our creatives got hit very hard in the pandemic mm-hmm. they were um they have not been able to do any work whatsoever uh, you know with all the curfews that were going on they couldn't even go out and get content mm-hmm. so we are also hoping to help them you know overcome that get back on their feet and um and really face the post post pandemic world right. um another thing is you know and this is really more it, 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 to the heart of blue maho uh they one of its rock beds has been to um to show the world identify the region as an asset for wealth creation mm, and um lovely. you know exactly so mm. what they want to do is is to be able to um to to show that especially through sports and entertainment and these are creative pillars of our region mm-hmm. that um you know to be able to, to identify it as i said as an asset for wealth creation but to show that these are valuable areas in the caribbean culture sports and entertainment and that what we need to do is we need to invest in them in order to build a powerful entity mm-hmm. that has worldwide impact So Daniel I love I love what you're saying. I mean this is so, you know, nail on the head in terms of what Caribbean creatives need right now, you know, just in terms of being inspired, having something to work towards and then so much other underlying things that help to promote our culture and our creatives. Um especially now is a whole pandemic, you know, and and a lot of people are struggling. I know a few of my friends in the industry they you know like on top of to your point not being able to find content like they don't have a platform you know to showcase whatever they are creating um you know so it's it's really challenging that's why real vibes decided to host its inaugural film festival they wanted to have a platform for established and emerging filmmakers to display their work so that mm-hmm. speaks to not having a platform they wanted to use the platform to also expose the heartbeat of the caribbean which is sports and entertainment they wanted to build capacity through technical development um via seminars and workshops that's mm-hmm. another great thing as well is to give them you know having them right. get these resources available mm-hmm. to them that you know maybe otherwise they wouldn't have exposing the story identifying how it's an asset right and creating a database of all film related practitioners mm-hmm. so that's kind of like bringing you know everything together to to really what this is about is it's it's about building a powerful resource for the creatives to be mm-hmm. able to tap into so marissa all of those points um things that i pointed out to you as being the the um influence mm-hmm. behind uh this festival I, I I you know I had mentioned that one thing that was near and dear to my heart was the seminars and the workshops you know it's it's all about the education 
but also bringing together these resources, these invaluable resources for for um, the the filmmakers to be able to to access and make use of that maybe otherwise they wouldn't have available to them, and and it, you know having us be able to facilitate their growth and advancement so that they not only are making an immense impact within their own region but you know out on the global scale mm -hmm. uh, on the global stage as well right right and I, I love it because that i mean that's so aligned with our mission here to be caribbean right like we're all about building brands for caribbean creators and providing mm -hmm. those educational resources, right? Because we have all the talent in the world, but sometimes we just don't know how to package it, you know, so that exactly. we, are, we are globally competitive. So I love that. Exactly. And the opportunity to, and another thing that I really like about this festival is that there, you know, the requirement is that it has to be uh, Caribbean nationals that live in the countries. I do believe right. that one of the restrictions is that if, if there is a collaborative work, they're only allowed to have maybe one Caribbean national that does not live in one of the Caribbean countries. And, mm -hmm. and why I really love that is because, you know, there's a lot of the times there's all these opportunities that are made available and it's usually it, it's usually accessed more by the diaspora or by you know people who live outside of the region and very seldom do you see those those um resources or those those advantages trickle down into the region itself exactly. so you know what i really want to see ultimately what i want to see is i want to see filmmakers that live in the caribbean mm -hmm. be able to emerge from this out on the world stage so i mean don't get me wrong I am proud of all of our Caribbean uh, people out there, no matter where they live. Mm. You know, they're representing the region and they're great ambassadors for, right. for our um, countries. But I, I do want to be able to see our local exactly. artists. Exactly. Let's keep it real, right? Like during this mm -hmm. pandemic, we, we were already underfunded. So now it's like mm -hmm. beyond, below zero, you know? So they definitely exactly. need a boost on so many levels especially having yes. a platform to showcase what they do you know so yes I love yes it. that's right i agree so let's talk about um in terms of so i know it's the inaugural year you're all you know getting things started making sure you're starting off with a bang i love it um what for you is the measure of success for this for this festival for me i think the true measure of success for this year is going to be the number of caribbean countries that actually participate mm, that's what yes. i to me you know i, I don't just want to see you know one or two countries especially you know there there are, there are those countries that are have always been the leaders right in you, you know with the um just just as 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 far as the world is concerned mm -hmm. and 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 the stories that are told or the music that it's get, is getting promoted around the world is specific to just a few islands i really want to see this festival now start to allow some of those other countries to be able to get the exposure that they need because listen we all have all of our countries have stories to tell mm -hmm. and you know what i feel is if the world thinks that they may know everything about the caribbean or they may know everything they think they need to know about the caribbean mm -hmm. What they know, it's just barely scratched the surface. Right there, there is so there's so much more to the Caribbean than what the world knows, and I am looking forward to this being a platform that will be able to expose mm -hmm. that to the world, get our stories out there, and also our stories being told from our perspective, perspective. not you. just a Caribbean story being told from someone who thinks it's a great story. Mm -hmm. You know, it's from our perspective. We're the storytellers. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to that. But as far as really the measure of success, well, it's twofold. The number of submissions that we get mm -hmm. and participants and also the number of, and, and also the, um, like I said, the number of countries across all of the categories. Because remember, I'll remind you what the categories are. We have documentaries, feature, mm -hmm. narration, musical, and animation animation right i want to see i'm you know i'm i'm looking forward to seeing some you know caribbean uh caribbean <laughs> influence animation i can't mm -hmm. wait and you know so, we're creative so it's gonna be good right exactly <laughs> exactly so so and, and that well i mean that's that's to me and i think that mm -hmm. maybe the different people might have different um to them different um benchmarks as right. to what's going to be that 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 um that success mark for right. them but mm -hmm. for me that's that's what stands out okay okay and then this is inaugural year but let's take it five years from now where you want to see mm -hmm. this festival grow 
I do want to speak to some some specifics. Mm-hmm. It is our inaugural year, so of course we want to see this now become an annual event. Right. No question about that. Yeah, we right. definitely want to see it move out of the virtual space and into a more physical um, space. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to see some big sponsors getting involved. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, as well as. 100%, not even 90%, even mm-hmm. 100% participation by all the Caribbean countries. Because, you know, you had mentioned, you touched on it before. Um, you know, we have a saying in Jamaica, we're small, but we're tall, right? Mm. So we we as a block, I've always thought that the Caribbean region as a block, I mean, even as these individual countries, mm. the impact that we make on the world, can you imagine what we could do if we were to come together exactly. and work Thank you. Tandem together. Yep. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that we mm-hmm. could over conquer, you know, dominate. It's right. just it's amazing. It really is. What we like are pool resources, of. have a Caribbean exactly. film industry. Like, exactly. oh my gosh, the possibility. Listen, our people have used, I mean, look at what they've accomplished with the so very little that they have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, mm-hmm. We, we are an amazing, inspiring people. And I'm proud to call myself a daughter of the Caribbean. Um, but with that in mind, like I said, so I want to see 100%, we want to see 100% participation from all all the Caribbean countries backing this, supporting this, um, as well as one of the prizes of the festival is actually mentorship. Mm-hmm. So what we really want to see now is <clears throat> we want to see through the mentorship, the workshops, the seminars, and this festival, we want to see um, filmmakers emerge from this festival and be able to go out there on the world stage and be competitive on the big screen, full-length feature films on the big screen in Hollywood. Right, you know, so right. that is actually, um, yeah, that's that's what I'd where I'd like to see us in five years. Woo, you get them excited. I'm so excited. You have no idea. All right. So, so just remind us again, key dates and where we go for more information. Right. So the key dates are the festival is August 25th to 27th. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the film submission deadlines, though, are July 31st. Mm-hmm. And um, the categories are documentary, narration, feature, um, musical, and animation. They are to be 7 to 11 minutes in length. And you can get all the information you need as far as the deadlines and guidelines at our website, which is realvibes.com. That's R-E-A-L-V-I-B-E-Z.com. Yeah, yeah. There you have it, folks. I mean, so exciting. Caribbean Film Festival, inaugural Caribbean Film Festival, being sponsored. Can I say being sponsored by Real Vibes? Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's gonna be great. Danielle, thank you so much for all this great information. Just for this initiative, being the face and spearhead in it, like it's exciting. I have quite a few people I'm gonna call after this. Um, <laughs> thank you for having me, Marissa. It has been an absolute pleasure speaking with you this evening. Thank you, thank you. So this was another episode, folks, of Ambassador 5. Keep it locked. We're gonna have a lot more information coming your way about this film festival. You wanna keep it locked to tobecaribbean.com. And yeah, remember to get ready, get ready to send your submissions and we're doing this, we're doing it big.